Each year in the United States, about 13,000 women are diagnosed with cervical cancer, and about 4,000 of those women will die. Here with the risk factors and treatment options are doctors Eric O'Lear and Mario Panetta. They are with Ironwood Cancer and Research Center. It's great to have both of you with us. Thousands of women are dying from this, and you say... Susan, they don't have to. They don't have to because they need to take preventative steps now. So what is the cervix? So the cervix is the part of the uterus that projects into the vagina. It's the birth canal. So it's the birth canal. It's where we deliver our babies, where we bring life into the world. And so what causes cervical cancer and are there, what are the risk factors? So the main risk factor and cause for almost all cervical cancers is the human papillomavirus. It's an endemic infection that most people in the United States will have, but most will clear. It's the persistence of this human papillomavirus or HPV mm -hmm. that causes cervix cancer. All right, so every year uh, women are told, hey, go and get a pap smear, make sure you're being an advocate of your health. What is a pap smear and is that one of the preventative ways That's that exactly we can keep right. from getting cervical cancer? So the pap smear is indicated for all women ages 21 to 65 and then we do the pap test which checks for the um, HPV virus as well for older women. These are really important and are, should be done every three to five years. And Dr. O'Lear, mm -hmm. some of the treatment options, so a woman hears yes, you have cervical cancer. What are the treatment options that are available uh, to her at Ironwood? Sure. So at Ironwood, we have a multidisciplinary team where everyone's under one roof. So the patient really, it's one stop shopping. They see radiation oncologist, the surgical oncologist, medical oncologist, imaging, nutrition, support services. It's all there. It's all there. Um, the treatment for the cervical cancer though is based largely on the stage of the cancer. Mm -hmm. The earlier we catch it, the easier and less invasive the treatment. Um, in fact, Dr. Pineda is one of the pioneers in some really non-invasive approaches for early cervical cancer. Right, and you were saying, uh, Dr. Pineda, that when we were told it was every year, but you, women don't necessarily have to get a pap smear that often. No, you should have a pelvic exam on a regular basis annually, but the pap test actually is dependent on the age and the kind of testing that's done every three to five years. Three to five years. And we've heard a lot about the HPV vaccination um, for, for girls as, you know, as young as preteens. Do you recommend it? Highly, wholeheartedly. I do too. In fact, I've given it to my preteen daughters. Okay, and I was sharing with you, I've got 12 year olds, uh, girls, twins, and I was really as a mother wondering, should I do this? But you're saying it's probably more risky if I don't. Agreed, and it's available and indicated for both boys and girls, men and women. And how, what, are the age, what is the age range for that HPV vaccination? Really the goal is to have it before first sexual activity. Okay, so before sexual activity. I want to go back to cervical cancer. Is it hereditary? No, it isn't. The, name, the number one risk factor for cervical cancer is not having a pap test screening in the last five years. So, so, when, so you're saying that when, you, when someone is diagnosed, you're finding that more women haven't? Had it in Correct. roughly, what, five years or yeah. so? And it's actually thought that we could eliminate cervical cancer if worldwide every woman would receive their, their screening as recommended. Right, because it is, it is preventable, highly preventable. Highly preventable. And the, how long is the treatment typically? Again, depends on the stage. Mm -hmm. um, for a woman with a stage three cervical cancer, it's gonna be eight weeks, very intensive radiation and chemotherapy. An early stage one cancer, might even be able to be treated in the office. And I know we're talking specifically cervical cancer this morning, but you do a number of, of treatments for a number of cancers. We do, so for the Women's Center, we treat all the reproductive and breast cancers, and the Ironwood treats every cancer. Every cancer, and all in one, under one roof. How does right. that make the patient, how does that help with recovery? It's less running around, less waiting for appointments. Often, you know, he'll have a patient that needs to be seen, he'll walk her to my clinic and I'll see her that day. Wow. It's an amazing opportunity for patients to get comprehensive cancer care. Right, and it's a team approach. Thank you so much. Great well, information, gentlemen. We thanks appreciate you. Ironwood Cancer and Research Centers, they have nine Valley locations for your convenience. If you would like to book an appointment, please call 480-821-2838 or visit ironwoodcrc.com.